What is up guys, Tony here, and today we're reviewing Minecraft on an NVIDIA Surround, or three monitors. Uh, this is actually, uh, in my opinion, the game of the year for NVIDIA Surround support, which is very interesting because it's a very low quality game. But it actually, when you go into full screen, which by the way, you have to go into the menu and then hit F11. There's no resolution setting, so you just hit F11, and you'll see it right here. It, bam, it just goes straight into pretty much perfect NVIDIA Surround support. Uh, the field of view is perfect, the... The aspect ratio overall is perfect. There's no um, stretching on the image, and everything is aligned perfect. There's literally not one problem with NVIDIA Surround on Minecraft, except for two little things that I'm sure can be fixed with uh, some sort of fixer that's out there. Or um, you can make your own fixer, I'm sure, because it's very easy to mod uh, the Java uh, codecs for the game. Um, there's two little problems. Uh, when you go into a game, um, a lot of entities in the in the GUI, the graphical user interface, are actually left aligned. So you'll see the text on the left is actually aligned all the way to the left of the screen, which means that you have to look over to your left monitor to see the text. And I wouldn't be so mad about that if it wasn't for the fact that when I look at the left of my monitors, I kind of get a little sick because everything's really stretched out because of the field of view. Um, and also on top of that, I don't like having to turn my head on uh, the middle of combat when someone's talking to me when I'm playing with some buddies. So that's kind of annoying. Um, and the other thing that's kind of annoying is when you go into a menu, your mouse is always on the far left uh, side of your left monitor. So you kind of have to drag your mouse over to get it into the middle every single time, which is kind of annoying. Uh, if you have a high DPI mouse, like a 6400 DPI mouse like I do, it's not that bad. But at the same time, it is kind of a bit of annoyance because usually you don't have to do that on Minecraft. But anyway, uh, in terms of overall playability and uh, how useful um, it is on Minecraft. First off, you can see there, you can see through walls with the FOV. Alright, so that's the first useful factor. <laughs> if you have a high, high FOV, you can actually look through walls, and that's really useful actually on servers. Um, I haven't abused it because really, I, I don't really play servers as much where like you have to worry about an economy or anything. Uh, but there are servers like that that you just fucking look through walls with, which is pretty pretty cool. Um, but nonetheless, it uh, I, I, I don't use it that much, but it is a good use factor. I remember back in the day on Minecraft, you'd have the gravel glitch where you'd uh, pour gravel on yourself and you could see through the wall somehow. So it's kind of like a throwback to that. Um, the, other, the other use factor that's kind of important is if there is a creeper sneaking up on your left or a zombie on your left, whatever it is, uh, it is a little bit easier to spot them, but it's not a massive difference. It's kind of like any other FPS on... Uh, I just fucking blinked through into the ocean for some reason. Anyway, so uh, yeah, it's it's just pretty much a uh, a kind of use factor that you find in any first-person shooter, first-person game, whatever it is. Um, so yeah, you, you do have a little bit better um, perception when it comes to if there's a mob near you or something like that. So that's always useful. Um, other, other use factors, there's really not many. Um, aesthetically, it is kind of aesthetically pleasing, but in, in all honesty... It doesn't make a massive difference um, having <laughs> three monitors on Minecraft. I mean, it's Minecraft. It's all blocky. But it does kind of immerse you in the game a bit more, which is always good. Um, I tried to go to the spawn here on the server to show you this beautiful uh, dome they created. And it looks pretty cool. Uh, everything won't load in because my computer is shit, apparently. So, yeah, uh, in terms of frame rates, um, I get frame rates of about... I'd say 500 frames to 1,000 frames a second on, on Minecraft without NVIDIA Surround. And with NVIDIA Surround, it probably goes down to maybe 500 to 750. It doesn't drop is what I'm trying to get at. It doesn't drop much. Um, so if you have a frame rate of like, let's say, I don't know, say you have like a lower end. Well, the thing is, if, you, if, you, if you're running Surround, you're going to actually, no matter what, it, what, what your setup is, uh, or, you know, what game you're playing, you're going to need a GPU that can handle surround. So let's say you have the bottom of the line GPU for NVIDIA surround, which is probably going to be the two 550s. Um, if you have two of those and you're running Minecraft, you're probably getting at least 100 frames a second. And if you run an NVIDIA surround, you're not going to see it drop more than 10%, which basically means if you're running NVIDIA surround, it's going gonna, it's, it's gonna to look great. Uh, it's never going to, you're never going to have a low frame rate on this. So there's no excuse not to run Minecraft on your NVIDIA surround setup. It's, it's awesome. It doesn't use up a lot of power. 
and it's just a fun experience, and it's not hard to set up at all. You just hit F11, and you're into the game. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to be linking around here on Minecraft, <laughs> just running around doing my thing. And uh, yeah, so that's pretty much it. That is my Minecraft uh, NVIDIA surround review, the three monitors. Um, of course, I will be doing more, as I always mention, games on NVIDIA surround reviews. So check out my channel. And actually, I wanted to add in uh, on this video, if you guys want me to review a um, game that you play in NVIDIA surround, go ahead and mention that to me in the comments, and I'll try to get that game running on NVIDIA Surround. Even if I don't own it, I'll buy it. That's how dedicated I am. And maybe I'll find some new games that I enjoy in the process. That's pretty much it. I'm Tony, and that's my review for Minecraft's NVIDIA Surround. And I'll see you guys next time.